Hey guys, so in this quick video, we're going to see how you can use PHP variables inside your JavaScript code. So there are many situations when you can use this. So let's just set everything up. So as you can see, we have just quickly created these two files, uh, one PHP file and one JavaScript file. And we're going to see how we can use the PHP variables across this file into the JavaScript file. Uh, so now, for example, we have a variable that stores the current language in which you're operating your web app for now. And let's name it uh, English or let's say, yeah, whatever English. And you want to use this in your JavaScript file, okay? Now, what common sense tells you is that maybe you can embed your PHP code inside the JavaScript file like you do with, you know, HTML. You embed HTML into your PHP. But this is obviously not going to work because the file extension here is JavaScript. So you cannot use anything else inside a JavaScript file. So let's check it. So we're going to create a variable named language inside JavaScript. And uh, inside this, I'm going to uh, write some PHP in a small snippet. And I'm going to, you know, echo that language variable. OK, and obviously this is not going to work. So uh, let's console log this. And here, let's uh, just console log this. So you'll see what happens when we do this. And uh, let me link the file. So uh, inside the script, we're going to use the ESRC. And it's going to be index.js. So let's see what exactly happens when we run this. So now we can see the output. Instead of you know running the PHP code, it just outputs this as a string. So it's obviously not working. So now uh, you might ask why you want to use a PHP variable inside JavaScript. There are many reasons. Uh, maybe you, you know, fetch some different things when the language is set to English and different when it's set to, let's say, French. And based on that, you want your conditions on the uh, client side. OK, and this obviously is not going to work. And uh, for example, you want to, you know, if language equals English, then you want to English now if language is English maybe you want to display something or console log something say the language is English or in any other case you want to log that as well okay, it's not English and we will never get into this uh, code block because the language variable is not working as we expected. So let me reload this. And you can see it's just uh, saying the language is not English, which it will say in any case uh, because this is not working for now. The code that you were supposed to execute is coming as the output. So how to get around that? Now, there's a solution for this. You cannot embed PHP code inside a JavaScript file, but you can do the exact opposite. You can embed JavaScript inside PHP and this is what we are going to do. So how are we going to do this? Uh, we're going to open another script tag and uh, inside this script tag what we are going to do is we are going to bring this line of code here. Now since this is a PHP file now this string is going to get executed instead of just going into the variable as a string. So, and since we have included the index.js file after this, you'll see how this works exactly. So let's reload this. Uh, so we are getting an error. I must have made some typing mistake. Yeah. So I made a spelling mistake and, and uh, we also have an additional double quote here. So let's get rid of this and reload the page. Now you can see it's properly, you know, uh, giving the output and displaying the PHP variable that was defined inside the PHP code snippet, uh, but we are using JavaScript to display. In fact, any change you will make to the PHP variable here, for example, it will be reflected in the JavaScript as well. So let's reload this and you can see. Now, the only thing that you must remember is that you need to define this before you link the uh, external JavaScript file. Because if the code inside this file gets executed first and you still haven't uh, figured this out, whatever this is above this, then it will show an error. So let's try this. Uh, let's try it like that. 
and C, it probably wouldn't work. Here, yeah, it's saying that language is not defined because you haven't defined it and the code inside this file is getting executed first and at that time you haven't defined the language variable. So always link the file after you have, you know, linked the variable to JavaScript. So this is a quick and easy way to link PHP variables inside JavaScript.